Football is back. The last international break of the year is done. Eight Luton players have participated in the break. And Rob Edwards appears to be staying with Hull City at the weekend to look forward to. Let's get into today's video. If you do like today's video, please smash that like button, hit the sub and let us know in the comments your thoughts. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers, so it'd be really helpful if you could hit that subscribe button. So just before we do go on to Hull City, just want to talk briefly about the eight Luton Town players that did make the internationals. So Hashi played a 90 minutes against Indonesia in the 4-0 victory for Japan and then come off the bench in their 3-1 victory as well. Mark McGuinness got his first cap for Republic of Ireland against England, but as we know, unfortunately, they suffered a 5-0 defeat. I didn't think that Mark McGuinness put too much wrong. We then had Marvellous Akamba, probably the standout elephant in the room, where he's been struggling to get his minutes for Luton Town. Um, uh, we, don't, we thought maybe, maybe managing his minutes, but he's managed to play a full 180 minutes for Zimbabwe, um, where they have managed to qualify for the uh, African Cup of Nations. So uh, really congratulations to them. But maybe that might mean we'll see him a bit more coming into this free game week as well because we've got to manage our players. Amari Bell featured both games for Jamaica, but unfortunately they suffered a loss to USA in a two-leg header and failed to qualify for their Nations League as well. Tenga Mengi come off the bench in the under-21s England matches uh, against Spain and Netherlands. So nice to get some minutes and... A different environment from him. Obviously, he's put another vlog out on his TikTok um, and he looked really happy. So, fingers crossed, it can spark up some more light for him as well, coming back into the Luton squad and we can really pick up some uh, momentum moving forward. Zach Nelson featured in the England under-20s in the 4-0 fraction against Germany. Joe Johnson was a uh, key role in England under-19s games as well. Uh, a 1-0 win against Lithuania. And then a draw against Belgium. And finally, midfielder Dylan Stitt from our youth setup um, played for Northern Ireland under 19s, but unfortunately they failed to uh, make Euro qualifiers. So that is the uh, eight Luton Town players, and congratulations to all of them that managed to get feature in their countryside. So now on to uh, Hull City at the weekend. And just before we do, obviously, the big balloon in the room, so to speak, is Rob Edwards. We said after the 5-1 loss to Middlesbrough that uh, Rob Edwards might be a wave goodbye. The press was talking about it. Even Simon Oxley was saying that he thinks that's probably Rob Edwards' time. We don't know what's happened in the two weeks. There's been rumours that uh, he was told to go away for a week on holiday and come back on Monday and have a fresh start. And I hope that's kind of what's happened, you know. He's come back after a week off completely no football, and he's ready, fit, ready to go. Now, everyone was demanding statements from the club that they should either say he's staying or he's going and squash all of this rumours. But, you know, the club come out after the uh, Watford game and saying that they backed him and we should get behind him. Now, yes, we've had some up and down performances. I don't necessarily think it needs the club coming out all the time saying we still back him, our goals have changed slightly, we don't, you know, whatever. I don't think that's necessarily right. But having said that, after all the press speculation and saying he's going to go, it wouldn't have been too bad if they'd have come out, you know, halfway through this week and gone looking forward to the weekend or, you know, a tweet similar when he was, there was rumours going around that he'd been sacked and they put a simple little picture out just to squash everything to say, focusing on the week ahead or whatever like that. And that sort of tweet I was expecting, but we haven't seen that. For me, the yeah, the performance haven't been great, but I still want Rob Edwards to turn this around, just like many other people. So, we've kind of just got to get behind him. Yeah, we're going to have bad performances, but we get to January, start building up, get uh, a little bit more squad depth in, and um, go again strongly. <laughs> Hull City are currently sitting on the same amount of points as Luton Town, 15. We've won one more game than them. However, they have lost two less games and they've drawn a few more. Their recent form to West Brom, which obviously we drew with. They lost also to Oxford and then they drew to Portsmouth and drew to Derby. Um, and they also drew to Burnley, sort of up and down. The way they set themselves up is 4-2-3-1. Everyone seems to be playing that 4-2-3-1 lately that we've been playing. With Pedro up the top, two key players, Ryan Joles. Obviously, we sold to Hull after we made six months out of him uh, in the Premier League. And then also Cody Drame. Hopefully, we get a good response from Cody, certainly. And of course, I really liked Ryan Joles, but I just don't think he really got the time that he, he deserved necessarily. Um, but he has been starting on the bench, so... We'll see how we uh, how that plays out. Hull City have got four joint top goal scorers, all on two goals each. Um, got Xavier Simmons, who plays in the midfield. You've also got Pedro, who's up top with them. 
Um, all played, I think Pedro's played seven games, whereas the rest of them played over 10. So yeah, a couple of standout players to look out for. Now, how I think Luton will set up against Hull City. I'm going to go straight out there. We, we, you know, Middlesbrough didn't work at all. I'm really hoping he's going to change, change something up. I don't think Alfie's going to be fit. If it's ligaments, he could be out for up to six weeks, which we probably won't see him this side of Christmas now. But fingers crossed it's not, because obviously we're going to need him. But if it is, I think we're going to have to set up without Alfie. So how I've gone, four at the back. I want to see Bell at left back. McGuinness, Mengi and Hashi. Now, we have said in the past that we don't believe Mengi and uh, McGuinness weren't necessarily together side by side. But with Tom Holmes, could potentially have Tom Holmes in instead. But I, I strongly believe that he's going to want Mengi and McGuinness in the squad as two best centre-backs. So he's going to have them four at the back. I want to see a diamond, something different to what we're used to because... Nothing's sort of working on that side of things at the moment. Want to see Nakama back inside. He's played 180 minutes for his country. So he should be able to come straight back in and fit that role like he did previously that we used to. Then we have just in front Klaus. And he's probably going to play Jordan Clark. So we put Klaus and Jordan Clark. Or maybe instead of Jordan Clark, we have like a Baptiste. Even saying about Pelly, someone that was fantastic for us previously. Um, the couple of games that he's played, yes, he's given the ball away so, uh, every so often, like at Millwall, for instance. But then when he came on at Watford, he was fantastic. So if we can get a really good Pelly going, then there's no reason why we can't try out and put Pelly on that side as well. And then in the, just in front, we have Chongy or Clark, dependent. I quite like Clark in that position. But we'll say Chungy and then Adbayo and Morris up top. I want to see something different. I don't want to see that five at the back because he, he loves to play that five at the back. I, we need some sort of change. So that's how I want it to be set up. If he does go five at the back, maybe Tom Holmes comes in as well. Uh, and then I'd like to see Bell and Hashi push out to the wide. And then obviously in the middle, Camber Kraus maybe. Um, Jordan Clark or Chungy just in front. And then obviously Adebayo and Morris up the top. I would like to see Taylor at some point this week. I think Woodrow had his opportunity at Borough. So it would be nice Brown as well because Brown didn't feature at Borough either. So you might bring him in on the right hand side. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. I am going to go for a... 2-1 victory for Luton Town. We've got to start winning and let's make it a big performance on Saturday. We've got Leeds and Norwich away following two games after that. So we've got a real big performance to put in on Saturday to start the week right. But if you did like today's video, please smash that like button. Hit the sub. Let us know in the comments your thoughts. See you on Saturday for the vlog.